tell you about. Some of you probably heard about this in the news, but um, you know I'm an organizer. So I, I got to Congress and I immediately started organizing. And one of the things I'm really proud to have organized is a group called the United Solutions Caucus. You might have seen me talking about this on television. So I got to Congress and all they do at the top is fight and yell at each other. And that's it, actually. They just fight and yell at each other. And what I realized was that with 435 members in the United States House of Representatives, we probably could spend our energy and your tax dollars doing something more than fight and yell at each other at the top. And so I started, um, along with some of my um, new colleagues in the freshman class, we started a group where we decided to come together, Republicans and Democrats together, to try and solve our country's big challenges and big problems. They used to call us the Gang of 32, but there's too many gangs in Congress. Have you noticed? Yeah. There's a lot of gangs. Everyone already thinks Congress is made up of thugs and thieves, so I said, let's not be a gang anymore. Let's be a proper caucus. And so we now have a group called the United Solutions Caucus of 38 Republicans and Democrats who meet weekly together to try and find shared solutions to our country's problems. And I'll tell you this, Sharon, I know. Republicans at the table as there are Democrats, and that's something I'm really proud of, is that there are folks elected to Congress from both political parties who are willing to put partisanship aside and solve problems. And we all know when we hear this when we go door to door and call voters, they just want solutions. They don't really care who brings it, they just want solutions. And so that's why our caucus is called the United Solutions Caucus. We're here to deliver results and answer questions and meet our challenges. And uh, in the next month or so, you'll see some legislation come out from our caucus that I think will help all of us uh, feel proud to be Democrats who are focused on solutions. So I'm really proud of that. 